Hello everyone, my name is Tia and I'm a student at Wright State University. I'll be taking a manufacturing facility tour with you. I'm so excited to learn more about the types of careers available in the manufacturing industry. There are tons of great career options right here in the Dayton region. Today we're touring McGregor Metalworking, located in Springfield, Ohio. First we're chatting with Jamie McGregor, the CEO of the company. Hi Jamie, can you tell us a little about yourself? My name is Jamie McGregor and I'm the Chief Executive Officer of McGregor Metalworking. I've been working for McGregor for 19 years this summer. What kind of work does McGregor do? We are a contract manufacturer. So what that means is a customer will send us a print and then we make that part to print. So um, we make metal stampings and welded assemblies for the automotive, lawn and garden, fitness, and agriculture industries. And McGregor is a family business, right? Yes, McGregor Metalworking is a family-owned business. I am the third generation of our family to lead the business. Do you offer internships or apprenticeships for people wanting to start in the industry? McGregor does have formal partnerships both with Clark State Community College on apprenticeship programs as well as certificate-based opportunities. And we also maintain active partnerships with the local high schools and in offering summer internship programs. What advice do you have for someone who wants to get into manufacturing? So if you want to go into manufacturing today, I think you just need to be curious. You need to be um, willing to um, try new things. You need to be um, willing to fail. Um, and if you exhibit those qualities of curiosity and a desire to learn and grow, um, you have a place in manufacturing. Thanks, Jamie. Now we're going to chat with a few of the employees at McGregor. First up, we have Jason. Hi, Jason. Can you tell us about yourself? My name is Jason Sheets. I work in maintenance at Ohio Stamping and Machine for McGregor Metals. I've been working at McGregor Metal for two years. What does a normal day look like for you? My typical day consists of keeping Osme up and going, preventative maintenance, and making sure the presses stay running. Sounds like you work with a lot of different equipment. I work with a lot of equipment. Yes, ma'am, I deal with presses, tools, anything to keep those presses running. What kind of experience or training would you need for this job? You have to have some mechanical background. You have to have a lot of electrical. And the cool part about Osme and McGregor is that they supply you with all the tools you need. What did they provide for you? McGregor sent me to Clark State and has given me on-the-job training to help better advance my career with them. That's awesome. Thanks, Jason. Next, we're talking to Michael. Michael, what do you do here? My name is Michael Javon Owens. Uh, I'm a robot welder, spot welder. I don't think I've heard of spot welding before. Can you explain what that is? It's a machine, as you, and usually it's a part. And most of the time, you're either just putting a part on something and pressing a button and putting it into a conveyor or in a container. What's your favorite part of your job? So I say talking to the, the uh, my employees, my coworkers. Uh, they make the day better. Would you recommend manufacturing as a career? Uh, absolutely. Uh, I feel like if, if you need something to just to get you to get you a, where you need to be, uh, build you build character, learn. Like I didn't learn stuff that. I, like I said, I never would have thought I did. Things I'm doing things I never thought I could do. And so I think it's a good it's a good job. It's a good way to go. For sure. That's so cool, Michael. Thanks for sharing. Up next is Brad, who does something a little different at McGregor. Uh, my name is Brad Hopkins and I am the quality engineer for McGregor Metal. How long have you worked here? I have worked for McGregor for twenty years. What brought you here? I started at a uh, local technical school, uh, CTC, and was in the field of manufacturing. So uh, I was looking for a job and they had a local opening and uh, I applied and started here as a janitor. How did you go from janitor to quality engineer? So I spent uh, about a year doing the uh, janitorial stuff. And at the time I was actually going to school as well uh, for engineering. Uh, they seen that I had some prospects in engineering and they moved me up into engineering as a trainee. What does a quality engineer do exactly? A quality engineer is a person who works on the, uh, the details of a part. So 
you can make a part in a myriad of different ways, but to be sure that it meets the customer's expectations for all of the uh, specifications and the standards. Uh, additionally, the quality engineer looks at the processes that are developed for the company to make sure that they're going to reliably produce the same parts over and over again. Um, Cause that, you know, the expectation is, is when you purchase something, you want it to always work. Did you have to get a degree for this job? I went through a technical school uh, initially. So I had a two year uh, technical uh, certificate to be able to do uh, manufacturing engineering. Uh, then through the process of working here with that uh, certificate. Additionally, I was working for my manufacturing engineering degree and computer aided design degree uh, while I worked on the job. So I learned both the manufacturing side of things and the production side of things while I was in school. So you were working while you were in school. Does that mean you got paid while you were in school? I was getting paid while I was in school. It, it did mean some long nights because, you know, I worked a full-time job and then went to school right after work. Uh, I would go to school until 10 p.m. some days, but it ultimately paid off. That's awesome. One last question. What advice do you have for someone who wants to become an engineer? Continue to work, continue to learn. Be interested in different things. So, you know, if, you know, there's the opportunity to work in pulleys or the opportunity to work in engineering or the opportunity to work in production. You will gain some sort of knowledge from each job that you do that will apply to another place that you work or another job duty that you work. Thanks, Brad. Next, we're going to talk with Jason, who actually works in the accounting department. Jason, can you tell us about yourself? Hi, my name is Jason Johnson, and I'm a cost accountant here at McGregor Metalworking Companies. I've been working here at McGregor for now around five years, I think starting back in June. What does a cost accountant do? I've never heard of that job before. So as a cost accountant, about 50% of my job is actually helping calculate selling prices for our parts or trying to calculate how much it'll cost for us to produce the parts. And then the other 50% of my job is just general accounting, bookkeeping for two out of our four plans. What kind of training or education did you need to get this job? The education route I went um, was I got my finance degree from the University of Dayton, um, which could have really taken me a lot of different ways, but I really liked the cost accountant side more so than uh, financial analyst side. After I went to the University of Dayton, I graduated in 2017. I actually uh, worked with McGregor as an intern while I was still at the University of Dayton, and then they hired me on full time right out of college. So I've been here now since 2017, about five years. Do you work with computers a lot? Yes, so I spend about 100% of my day every day working on a computer. Um, probably 90% of that time is on Excel, so any kind of a course you could get with working with different kind of applications on computers, especially Excel, goes a long way. So I don't really usually think of accountants when I think of manufacturing, and I'm sure I'm not the only one. What other non-machining jobs are there in the industry? When I was in high school, when I heard of a manufacturing company, you don't really think of all the different aspects of it. You really think of someone actually physically making the part, maybe running a press. Um, and so when I was in high school, I never thought of this as an opportunity for me. But since I've worked with McGregor, I've learned that there's so much more that goes into a manufacturing company, so many different ways you can contribute to the company. For example, me in accounting, there's sales, there's engineering, which is still more hands-on with the parts. Um, there's HR, there's uh, countless different ways you could help the company. Um, and so when you really think of a manufacturing company or any other type of company with its label, you really got to understand that there's so many different factors helping the company and so many different opportunities. Um, when I was in college, I didn't think I'd be working for a manufacturing company, but I'm so happy I gave it a shot. I've learned so many different good accounting tactics and different ways to look at accounting as well as just kind of broaden my horizon, being able to work with all the different groups um, and see that there are plenty of opportunities, even with a company you might not have thought of. Thanks, Jason. Up next is Brandy, who works at McGregor Affiliate Company, Ohio Stamping and Machine. Brandy, what do you do here? <laughs> my name is Brandy Webb. I'm a production supervisor at Ohio Stamping and Machine. 
How did you end up working here? I actually started working here from a temp service. I didn't know what I wanted to be when I grew up, so I found this place and actually started out making $10 an hour working a temporary job, a temporary assignment, and found a new home as this family-oriented company. Did you have any manufacturing experience when you started here? When I started here, I had very little manufacturing experience. McGregor actually gave me all the training I needed on the job, and I was able to absorb that all in and move my way up the ladder. What's your favorite part of your job? My favorite part of my job is the feeling of accomplishment after getting a task complete. Um, and it happens sometimes once a day because you're working on one project or it could happen 10 times in a specific day to feel like you've actually done something. Would you recommend manufacturing as a career? I feel manufacturing is a great career choice. We're actually needing people out on the workforce right now. And McGregor Metalworking supplies you with everything you need to know. I don't see why anyone wouldn't want to get into manufacturing, honestly. Thanks, Brandy. Before we leave, we're talking with Ashley, who works at McGregor affiliate company Carmichael Machine. Ashley, what do you do here? Um, I'm Ashley Davidson. I work at Carmichael Machine Corporation. I'm an operator and I'm learning how to do setups. And what does a normal day of work look like for you? So first thing in the morning what I do is I come in and I'll turn my machine on, make sure everything's running good, the tools are okay. I'll check the quality of my parts and end for inspection and then if it comes back good I'll continue to run the parts. Check for any issues with them throughout the day and it's pretty it's pretty simple once you know what you're doing but learning that can be kind of hard at first but it, it's a good challenge what kind of machinery do you use there are people that work with forklifts um i just work with a cnc machine which is a vertical milling machine we have horizontals we have lathes um, so i'll work with all of those can you tell us what a cnc machine is a CNC is a computer numerical code that you put into uh, a big machine and it'll run everything for you. So it's all based off of numbers. How did you end up working here? Do you have a lot of manufacturing experience? When I came here, I had no experience at all, but my supervisor taught me everything I know. He taught me about tooling. He taught me about setups. He taught me about um, calipers and micrometers and how to use those properly and a lot of different important information. That's awesome. Last question. What's your favorite part of your job? The tools are really cool. I learn all kinds of things about new tools that I had no idea even existed. That and everybody here is really friendly. Thanks, Ashley. It was great to chat with you and everyone at McGregor today. Thank you so much to McGregor Metalworking for allowing us to visit. Many thanks also to the Dayton Region Manufacturers Association for coordinating this tour and to Nordstrom Films for putting this video together. This video was made possible in part by Fast Lane and Ohio MEP. If you want to learn more about manufacturing careers, visit www.yourfuturecareer.org or www.makingohio.com.